I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree. Of course. I will admit what I'm proposing involves a little more cloak and dagger than the usual business meeting. But we both know that's how the game plays sometimes. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Oh, exceedingly. The free market there is in full effect. Anything goes as long as you have the money. We'll be taking advantage of that. That settles it then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. As long as the drinking comes after the negotiation, or whatever this is going to entail. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when we're ready to sail. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Always a satisfying. This is Freestar Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. That's all we need. Enjoy Neon. To make Matt, this place live smell that? Is Construction, astounding. incense, industrial no chemicals of every kind. When there are but they still can't get rid of the odor of castle gas. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Kazimbas's natural oils, apparently. If you're furious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekron offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Got a minute to shout? Security? There's far more about what you think. Effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. The second you step foot. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire.
What was the plan, Chuck? Smuggle the Aurora into a Kiwi city or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? this right here I can pay the usual we don't make the rules that's administrator Bayo's job now shut up and start walking move it let's go I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical Potter is very proud of his business, and he should be. His ships are very high quality. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she into this? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mrs. Strong, you are so lucky. Walter, Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake? Our ship designers are the best in the several systems. They design personal craft and military ships for us. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> And you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Co-CEO, heir to the Eklund fortune. And somewhere down there, I'm his wife, yes. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. Oh, it jumps up the list at the right moments. Yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into it. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now I must point out the obvious, the Astro Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. 
And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. You? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. And what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but... <laughs> Let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. He cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. Real humanitarian. The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. I see. Well, congratulations on your intelligence network. They clearly have done their job. I think the Astral Lounge will be more than happy to put you on the VIP list. I'll inform our security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. I'm sorry, but promises make for poor currency. I'm afraid Neon security needs to be paid too. We all have bills to cover. Mr. Stroud is coming to the Astral Lounge. Now that is interesting. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discount rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Well, of course, the Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. While your enthusiasm for the property is appreciated, you seem to be short on the credits required to purchase it. 
pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Got plenty here to choose from. That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. All right, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house you might be interested in. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a curiously refreshing, fruit-infused red wine served in a commemorative bottle. But if your palate is a bit more refined, we have our Bayou Private Reserve, painstakingly distilled cognac stored in the purest Arcturan crystal. That enough? Or are you hungry as well? Ah, a bit of a foodie, are we? I can't say I blame you. We're just as renowned for our cuisine here as we are for our drinks. But first, let me tempt you with our melon caviar. Delicate, salty spheres of melon hydroponically grown in our private aqua garden. And to finish, our lounge special strip. A grilled soy-based steak served with a steaming side of chipped potatoes. <laughs> it's delicious. Anything there sound appetizing? Or are you looking for something else? Of course, of course. Come back soon. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure, if all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagirt makes validates Neon security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend who started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbas Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Zeno Fresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city.
Maybe I didn't. Done this dance before, have you? All right, fine. I don't want any trouble. Sleep crate one. That's where the guy lives. I had to chase more zone heads out of here. Succeed at that before we are discovered. call someone's power kept going out know what it was a heat leech as long as my leg yuck Thing. 
hands. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you are thinking. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me now? I do. Am I just some useless star gazer? You would have been better off marrying a hope or a tie or someone who could be with you at every minute. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Is everything ready? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. See, I'm busy drinking. It's worth exactly zero credits. Same as my career. So don't get any ideas. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Just saw our seller walk by. Good job. That's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. 
He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Well, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? What? How did you... Uh, as you can see, we know everything about everyone we deal with. Now let's skip to it, shall we? All right. You win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Is there a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astro Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending our men to the Astro Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's freezed a few pawns. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters, The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, 
shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I... Yes, he is expecting you. I can give you access to the elevator, but that's it. Hoping to get a meeting. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive one. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter is here. Are you there? Me, sir? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? For the moment, Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Always worth checking. You never know what you might find in their pockets. Are you prepared to die?
meet your death. not to leave anything useful behind. This is a private office? Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Just leave, okay? This is a private office. You're not supposed to be here. There's the door. It should take you outside. Now, what? Do you expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of cat. I suppose that is ours now. Hey? Eh?
You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Leon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I track you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Aren't you? In the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline, there's a part of you that belongs here. It happens to all of us. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. That seems a bit extreme for the circumstances. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous visit. I have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment while you are in jail. I will make the arrangements for Leon's security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Thank you, Dave. Let's talk more back at the ship. This was a good meeting. Very... Productive. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Have a nice day. Neon security, you're under arrest. You know, I can just tell you've got no contraband. Let's head to the station, though.
What do you think? <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's me, and her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. You are very fortunate. And I am glad that you see it. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. I still get nervous around you. I won't pretend that I don't have questions. We're literally best friends I after clearly all. clearly just saved our lives, so... Whatever secrets you need to keep, I'll keep them. Say no more. We all came from different walks of life. That's one of Constellation's strengths. All that matters is who you are now, right? You're one of us. I don't need any more than that. Well, I don't know about you, but I never heard of these Starborn. And the speculation part of my brain is in overdrive. We need to regroup at the Lodge immediately. Tell Noel. To analyze the data off the ship's sensors, everyone's going to want to weigh in on this.
interessant. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? No. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no fashion festival crimson field. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. Call themselves the Starfleet, demanding we hand over the artifact, like we were children playing with a pack of toys. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up. Or another house for room. We ignoring the obvious here. Here to four unknown groups who just happens to know about the artifact. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent, worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So... They're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts, it's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. That ship could be anywhere in deep space. Even if we got lucky, a single grab jump and we'd lose them. All we can do is be more cautious. But we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Speak up if you have ideas. Uh, We're all here for the same reason. Ever Need since something? I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. <laughs>